PHP CS Fixer is a command line tool that formats PHP files, ensuring they follow certain code style standards. The VS Code extension PHP CS Fixer by JunStyle integrates the PHP CS Fixer functionality directly into VS Code. Once you've got the extension installed, there's a little bit of configuration you're going to want to do to get it working. So within VS Code, I'm going to open up my settings by going to View, Command Palette, search for Settings, choose Open User Settings. We want the JSON format. And for the settings we're going to add, I'm going to go over to the notes that accompany this video. Under Step 2, Configure, there's a section of configs we want to pull in, so I'm going to copy that. Paste that at the top of my settings file. And to quickly run through what we're setting, the first thing we're doing is telling VS Code where it's going to find the underlying PHP CS Fixer command line program. And this program actually comes bundled in with this extension. So the path we're referencing here is just the extension path, and then there it's going to find the uh, CS Fixer executable. Following that, we have on save set to true. So anytime we save a PHP file, it'll automatically apply the fixer. And we're also going to format HTML files and any PHP within those HTML files. And of course, you can adjust these settings as you see fit. Following that, we're telling VS Code that when we're working with PHP files, this is the default formatter that we want to use. So with those settings in place, let's test this out. I'm going to switch over to a PHP file where I have some messy code. I'm going to save the changes to this file using my keyboard shortcut. And you can see the formatter applied and tidied up my code, fixing things like indentation and spacing. Now, if you get to this point and it's not working, uh, there might be some additional configuration you have to do. And to show this, I'm going to switch over to my Windows install where it's currently not working. And just to show this, I'm going to go ahead and save the file here. And I get an error about the executable path, and it suggests setting the PHP CS Fixer executable path. Uh, but we just did that, and I've done that in the settings file within my Windows install. I have that set. So this error message is a little misleading because what's actually going on here is uh, behind the scenes, when VS Code is running the PHP CS Fixer, it needs to run it via PHP. And if VS Code can't find your PHP install, uh, it's not going to be able to work. And in this case, you're going to get an error message that looks like this. So to address this, the first thing we need to do is make sure we have PHP installed on the system. And then once we've confirmed that, we need to find the path to that PHP install and add it to our settings. For some guidance on this, I'm going to go back to the notes that accompany this video and scroll down to the troubleshooting section. Here I have listed some options for how you can get PHP set up on your computer. There's lots of different ways you could do this. These are just some uh, quick start suggestions that I recommend. If you're on Mac, check out a program called Herd or Zamp. They come with PHP bundled in and are real easy to set up. If you're on Windows, the alternative I recommend is Laragon or Zamp also runs on Windows. Uh, but long story short, get those programs downloaded and running, and then you should have PHP accessible on your system. And then we just need to tell VS Code where it's going to find PHP. For example, on a Mac, if I was running the herd program, I would set in my VS Code settings my php.validate.executable path to this path here. This is where it's going to find PHP within the herd library. Um, now, if you're using this path, make sure you replace your username with your actual username. Uh, if you're working with XAMPP, here's the path you would use there in the context of Mac. If there's nothing you need to change, this path should work universally. Uh, if you're on Windows and Laragon, this is the path you want to use. Um, I will note here that it is referencing the version of PHP. So depending on when you watch this video, you may need to update this with the current version that came with Laragon. Uh, and then finally with XAMPP, again, the path is universal here in the context of Windows. All right, now I actually know that I have Laragon installed on my Windows install, so I don't have to go through the process of installing it. I just need to add this to my VS Code config so that it can find PHP. So I'm going to copy this and go over to Windows and just add this at the top of my settings.json file. All right, I'm going to save those changes, uh, exit out of that error, and then let's try this again. I'm going to save my test file. And there we go, the auto formatter is successfully applying that time. No error messages popped up. So hopefully that helped you out to get PHP CS Fixer up and running in VS Code. And if you're interested, I have some additional videos on VS Code you might want to check out. I'll include some links to them on the screen right now.